John as a character. He's got a good attitude. Like respectful, humble person. He's got a really good head on his shoulders. He has his whole heart out there on the line. Uh, I'd say his serving's kind of real similar to that. He's that wave magnet. Natural talent. He just is so creative with the lines that he takes. It's, he's definitely put in his time. From a very young age, everyone knew it was not a question of if, but you know when he was going to reach the next level. <laughs> Growing up in Hawaii, I think it's more about learning respect and learning to respect everyone around you and everything around you. And that's kind of a big thing that you're taught when you grow up in Hawaii. <laughs> 2011 was an unforgettable year for John. Starting off the year, John won back-to-back -back events at Pipeline, which is something that few surfers have ever achieved. I think living at Pipeline right there, you know, definitely something to do with it. He's like one of the best I think I've, I've ever seen out there. You know, not a lot of people have the same relationship as like Kelly and Jamie or Bruce, you know? When I see him surf Pipe, he seems to be fearless, you know? He rides really small boards, sits under the ledge, and he's got the fire for it, which you need. You have to have that. John seems to have a different approach to his serving. While most servers would train and focus for events, John usually is off exploring, chasing some swells or busting some air at the skate park. Skateboarding, when you can like read walls like that, you know, it makes your surfing, you know, next level. It's an understanding of transition that people don't get, you know. To see him skateboard, be able to go to the park and be diverse as far as surfing and skating goes. It definitely reflects in his style, I think. John seems to have this rare knowledge of the ocean that few people really seem to have a grasp on. He's just a wave magnet, you know? There's people like that, and he's one of them. I seen him, like, walk up out, out on the deck, look at it, it's like the waves are two feet, completely onshore, and there's this barely surfable right, and then right there he's just like, oh, that right's firing! Oh, and he just psychs himself up so much that, like, to him, the wave looks fun and good, but I don't know, I, I can't look at the wave and make it better in my mind. John has that like gift that you just psych himself up for any kind of wave. Right now, actually, I'm like, or these past like eight months or so, I've just been, I'm so just psyched on surfing itself. Like, I wanna go surf, you know? I have fun every time I go surfing. Like, I don't know, it just seems like it's everything's just been getting better and better and better. And then drawing up all the way to I won Brazil, and that was just like, well, like, what, like, kind of, it makes you think about like what happened in the last year, you know, and like everything kind of leading up to that point, and to what my journey has been since I was little, and just to win a world tour event. I'm happy as can be, and I'm healthy, and having fun.